it looks like a wig, honestly, but it's not. This is my hair. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I know it's been a while, but before I show you what's under this scarf, let me show you what I was working with prior to washing and conditioning. <laughs> so bad but I washed and conditioned my hair with my favorite yes to carriage shampoo just a little tip if you're ordering this from Amazon make sure you order a shampoo and a conditioner I definitely ordered two bottles of shampoo but that's okay I ended up conditioning my hair with Maui moisture the one in the pink I forget the name of it but it smells really good and I like it my hair likes it too so that's all that matters after my wash and deep condition, this is what my hair looked like. So it was still wet here, but I added a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of coconut oil to it, and here it is all dry. But this is not about hair um, deep conditioning. This is about my twist out. So I want to show you guys how my hair looks throughout the week when I wear a twist out. So again, here's my hair completely dry, a little bit of coconut oil in it, but now I'm gonna spray it with just water just to dampen it so that uh, the twist out can really take shape. So the only product that I'm using for this entire week, this entire five, well, six days of twist out is my favorite black castor oil. I love this stuff, it lasts so long. It doesn't have the nicest smell, but it's not overpowering, it's okay. So I know you guys have seen 8 million videos on how to twist your hair. I still don't have a good enough camera to really get in there and show you how I twist it. But one of these days I'm going to get another good camera and I'm going to show y'all how I twist my hair. This is just two strand twists. I did about seven or eight of these flat twists around my head and the only thing that I really pay attention to when I'm flat twisting is the front part. I make sure that I'm twisting into my forehead if that makes any sense because when you put your scarf on the edges really lay down and not just for the look of like slick edges but it protects my edges when I do that because I'm able to apply more castor oil to the front of my hair and that really has helped me out. The other reason I love castor oil is because of the shine. My hair rarely looks dull and dry when I have castor oil on. So if you haven't tried it, I really recommend that you try it. I got mine from Target. All right, so here is day one of the twist out. I hate, hate, hate day one of the twist out. And the thing is, I don't like to fluff the roots or anything because I know when I have a twist out, I want to wear it for a couple days, at least a week. But this is so, I mean, it looks okay, but it's just so lifeless and kind of flat. Day two is looking a little better. Um, things have kind of congealed in there. I don't know if that's the right word, but the parts have come together and the hair looks a little fluffier and on day two I actually start to as you can see here to um, separate them day three this is after the shower you can see the shrinkage is real I can't really say anything about day three but day four is my favorite it's full it's fluffy you can't see any parts I love it day five we're starting to see a little bit of frizz but it's okay it's still cute i love a really good voluminous twist out so here we are on day six of the twist out but as you saw day three was a hot mess so all i do to fluff it back up and get some more length if you get in the shower <laughs> and just let the steam hit your hair, it really brings it back to life. And if you don't want to do the shower thing, then just get some warm water and a little tiny spray bottle. Give yourself like five sprays and it will fluff back up. Maybe. Don't quote me on that because sometimes the hair just frizzes and it loses the shape. But this is this much was out. This much was out on day six. And I really, really love day six. It looks like a wig, honestly, but it's not. This is my hair. <laughs> also, I know somebody's gonna ask me, so let me show you what I do when I do wear a scarf at night. 
So here's my favorite scarf. And at night, what you do is get your scarf in a good triangle shape, flip your head over, get all your hair. Get your hair to the front and tie it, and that's how you sleep. Anyways, you guys, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for being so supportive. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this has been a ridiculously difficult time for me. I've been sick since April. Um, one of my friends died and Domino was sick, so it's just been a really, really stressful time for me. But you guys have been sending really, really supportive and positive messages, and I am so grateful for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Anyways, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what you want to see next, because hopefully this blast of energy lasts and I can film some more videos. So let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.